Well, good morning. Today is Friday, October 6th. It's my son Jimmy's birthday. He's 45. He can't be 45. I was just 45. I wasn't that long ago that I was 45. And now my oldest is 45. It just doesn't seem right. It just doesn't seem... You know, there's a point in their lives when they're growing up, you can't wait till they get old, older. And then... Then they get older and they're gone and you wish they were younger again. You wish they were back home. Although they come back every week. They come back a lot. I know that. But um, Denise and Christy watched a show and they got me hooked on it called Meet the Putnams. And it's about this family that they had four kids and their four kids got married and they have 16 kids between them. So there's 26 of them and they're all living together in the same house. And they all share the expenses and the decisions and the chores and everything. And it seems to work for them. Um, I don't think that... i got to give the, the daughter-in-laws, even the son-in-law, because there's three boys and a girl. That's, that, that's a commitment. I mean, I can see like your brother or your sister, and you're going to say we're all going to live together for the rest of our lives. But you bring a spouse into the situation, that's, that's pretty good. It really is. But I really like the show. I really do. It's, the dad, I don't... Nah, the dad, not so much. I, I just... Um, I just find him a little bit controlling, but I do like all the the rest. And I think there's four bo four grand boys, grandsons, and twelve granddaughters. So the girls kind of overtake the house as it is. But it's a good show. It's on uh, TLC. But I do like it. It's kind of cute. But I I would like to think um, my dream would be that I would win the lottery and I'd have a great big patch of land and we'd all build our own homes like we'd be neighbors that would be my dream because you know i love my grandkids i really do and i love my kids i really do but i love being alone too. <laughs> not alone alone but you know i like my alone time i guess is what i like to say but oh another pot that can go I, I squirrel the uh flowers are all dead in there now so i gotta get rid of them i kind of like the little thing there is i have like a little paver thing and I'll show you when I'm done. It, it keeps people from tripping because I know, well, especially, well, on Halloween now, we used to sit up in the, by the porch, but now we sit out in front here and just put up our lawn chairs. I've already got my candy because it was on sale. Uh, at Kroger's, there was like a flash sale, and I got it half off. So I got, I got all my candy, and I have it hidden so nobody knows where it's at. Even I have it hidden so that it's not like in my everyday sight because I do like candy. I don't know if you knew that, but I do like candy. I didn't feel tempted at all about the cake because it was coconut, and I didn't even have a brownie. I was because usually I would have, you know, had a brownie, but I had the two biscuits because I figured I do like my bread. And uh, I was really surprised that the biscuit was only three points. It's the Kroger brand frozen biscuits, and you just you know take as many out as you want to cook at a time. And it tastes like homemade bread. It was it was really good, and I was happy with that. Um, I was happy. I kind of it was difficult passing up the mashed potatoes. I'll be honest, because I do like my mashed potatoes. But it was five points for that, and then I got to put another tablespoon of butter on it. So that's a ten point potato, and I just know that I can't eat ten pound ten point potato. Although I had the nine point <laughs> cheesy potato, so I guess I can't make that claim. Or if I have a all right. Never mind, because I want to have a baked potato with the butter and the sour cream. It's even more than that. So, Who am I kidding? Not you guys, that's for sure. I um, have to wait late to walk because it's been raining all morning, and I'm trying to think I'm going to, I don't know if you can see, it looks pretty cloudy. If I, hopefully I can beat the rain because I think it's going to rain again. It is a little chilly, but I still have shorts on. And... I already did my talk with Denise, so she's not even going to go on my walk with me today because we talked while it was raining. And other than that, just stay home. I, got my, I think I'm going to have my breakfast. I'm going to go back to my fruits. I, I'm, I'm missing them. So I'm going to have... Um, you know what? I should go put some eggs on before I leave and have Jim take them out of the pan when they're done, now that I'm thinking about it. Because I think I'm going to have my usual berry breakfast with my eggs. And then wait, and then in a little while after that, maybe an hour afterward, have my grapefruit and banana. And then for lunch, I think I'm going to have some of the turkey pepperoni and a 
tomato, and a cheese stick. And for dinner, I'm going to have my salad because I always have a salad on Fridays. And I do find that if I'm planning my meals for the whole day, know what I'm going to have each for each meal, then it works out better for me. Still curious to see the three meals. You know, in the past it did work, and then I fell away from it. But I've really, really been tracking this week. I've really been tracking. I've always tracked somewhat, as you can see on my things, but I, uh, I'm dedicated to tracking, so we'll see how that works. But let's, I'm going to go in the house and put some eggs on so Jim can take them off when I'm done. Because I like a, a cold hard-boiled egg, so I'll put it in the refrigerator when I get back. And then uh, I'll show you my flowers that are dead. <laughs> Not that you need to see dead flowers, but you'll see what I'm talking about, about the, my little stump. And then get on with my walk. Okay, let's go. Okay, you see how they, uh little stump there is like where people are going to trip. They always catch this corner. And then they trip. And then these flowers are... Those flowers are done. And I think those are done too. Those just got a little wisp of life, but not much. And of course those are gone. So, but these seem to still be thriving over here a little bit. So maybe I'll move these over there for the stump. I'll do that. And then my side flowers are still blooming. They're still looking pretty nice. Okay, let's go for a walk. Once again, I'm so glad I walked. It was a beautiful walk. I just loved every minute of it. It was, um, got a little warm, but uh, I just brought my sleeves up and then it wasn't so bad. I did see one person walking their dog, but that's about it. I think it's starting to clear up. Still a little chilly, but I'll take it. I'm going to go in the house and drink my water and take a shower and then maybe eat my breakfast a little earlier than I normally do. Well, maybe not because I walk so late. What was I thinking? I'm still going to eat though. I'll talk to you guys in a bit. If I can shut this off. Well, it is a little bit earlier than I normally eat. So there's my breakfast and tea in the water. Started my day with a prayer. I've drank 42 ounces of water so far. I've walked 4,852 steps. My quote is, if I quit now, I'll end up where I started. And when I started, I dreamed about where I am now. Um, 35 smart points. It's a pretty heavy breakfast. 11 points. Um, six for my bagel, three for my tablespoon of peanut butter, two for my hard-boiled egg, zero for my berries, and zero for my tea in the water. I know that 11 points is kind of high, but on Fridays when I have my salad, I do have a hard time getting to my 35 points. So um, this is my way of getting there, I guess. We'll see. Okay, it's time for lunch. And I am going to have 12 turkey pepperonis for 2 points, and an ounce of pepper jack cheese for 4 points, a tomato, a cup of tea, and a glass of water for 6 points is my total dinner, or lunch rather. I have 18 points left for dinner. Okay, it's time for dinner, and I've gone a little bit over my points. I only had 18 points, so I shouldn't have had that 6 point lunch, because I'm 6 points over for my dinner. Um, I have an ounce of provolone for 4. I originally had two ounces, but then when I saw how far I was over, I took a one ounce away. <clears throat> two ounces of honey ham for two, three for a half cup of cottage cheese, three for a quarter cup of feta cheese. Oh, look at me. I, I counted cottage cheese twice, so I'm only three over. Six for my two tablespoons of dressing. So that is a 21 point dinner, so I'm three points over. That's even better. Well, tomorrow will be the big reveal. We'll see if this new way of eating this week's going to pay off. I do kind of feel like I did lose a pound or two, so we'll see tomorrow. I um, I find that when I'm eating the more meals, I'm hungrier. I don't know if that makes any sense. I'm eating more food, but I'm feeling like I'm hungrier. But they said that if you stay within your points, which I think I think I think I said I was three under or three over, three over, but I've been under most of the week. Maybe it'll balance out. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, I'm willing to give anything a shot. I'm determined to hit my 50-pound goal this month, and I'm going to do it. I'm not doubting myself in the least little bit. 
tomorrow uh, Christy's gonna come pick me up so she's gonna be going to the meeting with me because she has my car <laughs> it's the only way I can get there and I know I look kind of red it's because of the light I have shining on me um, the room is kind of dark and I'm using the lamp from my computer which is not it's a harsh light you would think with all my movie lines my movie production knowledge I would know how to do the better lighting but <laughs> what you see is what you get so I will see you guys tomorrow okay while I was editing my video I noticed that I need to go back to math class I hit my points exactly today because my dinner was 18 points and I had 18 points left to go <sighs> Silly me. Here I thought I was, first I thought I was six over, and then I realized I was only three over, but now come to find out I was exactly on target. Makes me feel better. I'll sleep so much better tonight knowing that. <laughs> I'll see you guys tomorrow.